Now the next energy we are looking at is Chinnamasta. So re remember the sequence. Kali, unknown, black is about you. So we are saying that there are more things you can do, you, are, you have the capacity, and then trusting these unknown capacities, you set up that Kamala vision. You just you put this vision that you can, you can achieve this, and trusting that it's there in that infinite unknownness of you, you can work towards it, you do your steps, start up, and then you keep seeing uh, the Sundari, you keep expanding your heart, you keep putting in the work by Ravi. Now, we'll be doing all this, but yet, what we have been doing over the past many years will keep coming back. The head of excuses, the head of blaming, the head of victim will keep popping up above your neck. And that's where the practice of Chinnamasta. Chinnamasta is this great uh, energy. So it's all projected as kind of uh, um, energy characters in the story. So this is a lady who, who is depicted as cut off her, her own head and she is holding her own head outside and then this head is drinking straight from uh, blood streaming from the heart and it's just pouring into her own head and she's also offering uh, to two other ladies this blood streaming from her own heart. It's like a fountain going to each side. So the understanding of it is a bit elaborate to explain right now. We have to go into the Idanadi, Pingalanadi, Sushumna and so forth, which we are not doing it today. Okay? So though you are looking for different results, you are, you are intending well, but when we need to act, at that time the old head will pop back and the head of doubts, the head of excuses will come back. And that's where the Chinnamasta gesture, what we've done in Manasa, our practice is, you know KCC, okay? So it's the same KCC, but what we have to do is, we do KCC from, instead of the heart, we take it here, okay? And just like this. It's like that head, we are just taking it off. Okay, so this head. So right now, if I'm going to blame somebody for something, um, as the blame starts, it's like, stop it, cut it. And then I'm, I'm looking at what can I do right now, like, rather than what should they have done, okay? So that is the Chinnamasta practice, cutting the head off excuses and blames, and then it drinks deep from its own heart. So the head is off, and then it's drinking deep from its own heart. The meaning is, Cut the head of excuses and drink deep from your transformative capacities of action, of Bhairavi. Rather than drinking deep from excuses and blames, drink deep from Bhairavi, from your capacity of action, which is transformative. So that's a powerful teaching, and we need to do Chinnamasa. So for us, it's a radical, dynamic practice of Tanu. Okay? So Chinnamasa, once you have set your visions high, then we need to keep on cutting it. You know, like this head, old head will keep on coming back. And we need to cut it, cut it, cut it. Um, and th 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 that's the practice. So I put it here. So practice of cutting off the old head of excuses and blames and then drinking deep from transform transformative capacities of action. So one of the challenge we can try is next three days, practice total non-complaining. We are talking about mainly like excuses kind of thing, which puts down your own capacity for action. That, that's the complaining we are talking about, okay? Which puts you down, which puts your capacity down. So some excuse, oh, I don't know English, or you know, like something we will come up with uh, from taking an action, um, and we will say, I'll do it later. Okay, so th th that kind of thing is an excuse. Um, and if you're inspired now, you have to act now. We can't say that next year we'll do it. So you see how you can practice this next three days because without practicing, uh, this won't come into much fruition. So another important teaching of Chinnamasa is drink deep the vitality of each moment, the juice of life that you are, the aliveness.